Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and in this video, we'll be taking a look at the new Warcry rules for the Harbingers of Destruction. Yesterday, we got a load of PDFs to download for the Grand Alliance of Order. Tons of fighters in there, especially the Stormcast Eternals, a huge amount. But today, it's time to take a look at the new rules for the Harbingers of Destruction. I'm really excited to see what they've done with the Gloom Spike Gits, so we'll be focusing on that, but also going through the PDF in full, taking an, an overview of everything that's included in these new rules. One thing I'm really happy about is that this includes monsters again, but also thralls, so that's really good. When we get the Chaos one, that's going to be full of all the thralls as well, so that's really great news. And now for the rest of the video, I'll go through the article so we can take all the information out of that and then have a look at the PDF in full. Before we do that though, I'd like to say a huge thank you to this month's sponsors who are making these daily videos possible. And I'll put their links in the comments section below and if you can check those out, that's a great way to support the channel and help me to keep these videos coming. So here we go, the article gives us the reaction for the Cruel Boys to take a look at first. And if you saw yesterday's video where we looked at the Grand Alliance of Order, you would have seen that the reactions are written and included in with the abilities. So it could be easy to overlook it if you're just skimming through that PDF quickly. But the reactions are in there for each warband, but just tied in with the abilities. We also get to see a glimpse of the new version of the killer boss on Great Nashtooth and the fighter cards have got this changed look now to them representing this map of Gur. But what a huge change we're seeing for the killer boss on Great Nashtooth going from 245 points right up to 330. And there's not a huge lot changing here for this big point increase. Movement same, toughness same, wounds the same, the rune marks are the same. But the only difference being you're going to get one more attack and the damage output is going to be three on a regular hit, five on a critical hit rather than two and five. So yeah, just a small change, but a big increase in points. But the good news is you will save some points on some of the other fighters, including the Swamp Caller Shaman, one of my favourites from that whole Dominion box set. I love this model. And this is going down. It's going to be down 40 points. So that's really nice. And we're not losing anything either here. It looks like all the stats for the weapons are staying the same. The room marks are the same. And even the movement, toughness and wounds are the same. So no change there. Just the points value coming down. And then right at the bottom of the article, they give us this thing to click and then you can go and download the rules PDF for the Grand Alliance of Destruction for free. And it's just one PDF today, so not as many fighters in that alliance. And if you've picked up the books for them previously, you'll know that the Destruction and Death books are much thinner. So yeah, just the one PDF today. So now let's jump onto that and we'll have a good look through the whole thing. Here we go, so I've opened up the PDF now and we've got the Harbingers of Destruction, nice introduction. Here we've got the Destruction Faction Rue Marks, as you will have seen in previous books, the Tome of Champions and the Grand Alliance books too. Now, and we've been talking about this a lot in the comments, there's no Underworlds Warbands included in any of these, which is a little bit of a worry because it could mean that we're not going to get any, but I'm really hoping they're included in the end of the book. And I've got to go and try and find those videos where we can actually see the book being reviewed, the compendium book that is. Um, so yeah, hopefully Underworlds are included, but it's not looking good if they're not included in these uh, faction room art for each of the Grand Alliance. But if you've got any solid info on that, let us all know in the comments section below. It'd be great to hear. So this continues our introduction now for the Harbingers of Destruction as we go on to page two. And then we're going to keep going with the Monsters of Destruction now. So this is really great. This is still included. The rules aren't though, so you'll have to get the rules for that maybe from the new core book or from the Tome of Champions as well. And then we've got another one here, the Dankhold Trogoth. So brilliant that we're still getting all the monsters and they've been updated too. Then we've got the Thralls. That's nice. The Rockguth Trogoths. Love those. I'll certainly be comparing these as soon as I finish this video and checking how that's improved because I've got some of those that I want to play in my warband a lot. And so, yeah, this is a really important one. So this is looking good. But here's their reaction for the Thralls. Horrific stench. And a fighter can make this reaction after they are targeted by a melee attack, but before the hit rolls are made. Subtract one 
from the attacks characteristic of that attack action to a minimum of one. So that's really cool. I like that. I guess the idea, you don't want to get too close to these guys because they smell a bit bad. So yeah, that fits in with the whole narrative. And uh, yeah, they're really nice. So that's cool. So we've got the Thralls of Destruction. Now we're on to the Warbands. And I play the Gloom Spike Gits a lot. So I'm looking forward to dissecting this one as well. But good to see the reaction here. And this is going to be available to all the fighters with the Gloom Spike Gits room mark. So that's really nice. And their reaction is called Pylon. And here a fighter can make this reaction after an enemy fighter finishes a move action visible to this fighter and within three inch of this fighter. Pick another friendly fighter. That fighter makes a bonus move action. And after that move action, that fighter must be within one inch of the enemy fighter that made the move action. So lots of conditions. That's pretty wor uh, wordy. But yeah, I like that idea. You can really get stuck in and pile on the enemy as they start to move and get close to you. So that's really good. So I'm loving how you get a different reaction for each of the warbands. And interesting to see how they've included it in the abilities like this too. Right, now let's have a look at the fighter cards. So here we go. So we're going to get all the fighter cards as normal, but now with this updated aesthetic. So all the ones we come to know from the game before. Again, I'm going to be going through this really closely. Then we've got the Goba Palutza here. So this is going to be, again, with a different reaction, which is nice, called Spiteful Demise. And here a fighter can make this reaction when they are targeted by a melee attack action. After the damage is totaled, but before it's allocated to this fighter, if it is enough for this fighter to be taken down, roll a dice. On a roll of 4+, plus, allocate 3 damage points to their attacker. Nice. Always like a bit of spiteful behaviour in these games, so I'm loving that one. But I don't have these models yet. I certainly want to pick them up because I think they're fantastic. Right, let's keep going. And next up, we've got the Bone Splitters. So here, another reaction, get stuck in. Very nice. And again, that's available to all the Bone Splitters with the Rumark. So some of these we saw yesterday, the reactions would only be available to the heroes. And notice this says hero abilities now, not leader abilities anymore. So another little change already that we can see. And so, yeah, nice when you everyone in the Warband can use the reaction. I like that. And then we've got their fighter cards too. And they're going to get a few pages. So what, two pages of fighter cards? Yeah, two uh, pages for them. Then the Iron Jaws, they've got the Get Stuck In Reaction too, so not a different one for them, so that's going to be the same. And then we get all their updated cards. So, I mean, it's great to get these for free. Can't complain at all. We can print them off, cut them out, and then use them, so that's really good. It's certainly better than using them on your iPad or phone, because I've always liked having the proper card packs, because then you can put tokens on it. It just makes a lot more sense. And being able to have them like this, if you've got multiples of the same fighter you can easily print off more so i think that's really good it's also great for me when i'm going to be doing the deep dive warband videos because that's going to make this a lot quicker because before i had to photo the book cut that out put it on and things like that so it took a little little while but now it's gonna be a lot quicker having the pdf so that's really great so there's a few positives here um but I am going to miss the cards, though. I was thinking for my Corvus Cabal, I'll probably just use their old stats if, they, if they've if they changed an awful lot and um, just use the cards because I really like using the cards. And so I might do that. Wait and see. Uh, or it could just be really easy just to change it with a marker pen. I might do that, too. So let's wait and see because you know, I don't think a lot of them are going to change, but I haven't gone through it and still waiting for the Chaos book anyway. Right now on to the Cruel Boys. So we've already seen some of their changes from the article. They've got Cunning Trap. We saw that reaction too earlier on. Yeah, that's a big change though for the killer boss on Great Nashtooth. So it'd be good to have a real good look through all the different fighters and just see if you can recoup those points from the other ones. Here's some more here. And some more here. So that's they put a nice big picture there across two pages, it looks like. Okay. Now we're on to the Ogre More Tribes. They've got Quick Bite for their reaction. And then we're going to get all the same ones. The Butcher's great. He just looks so cool, doesn't he? And then finally, we've got page 25. We've got the rest of the Ogres. So there we go. That's the PDF. And that's the updated fighter cards for all the fighters 
in the Grand Alliance of Destruction. But again, no Underworlds models. So you really want to find out if they're being discontinued or will they be included as a PDF once all the Grand Alliance ones comes out and maybe it's done separately. But to be fair, I would expect to see their rune marks at the beginning of the book where we saw uh, the first page, just go back to it, where we saw down here the Destruction Faction rune marks. I, I would have expected it to maybe go in there but let's wait and see all is not lost might find out later in the week so that's all the updated rules for the harbingers of destruction and thanks for all your comments in yesterday's video it's great to read through them and i'd love to hear what you think about these as well so get stuck in in the comments section down below and also let me know have you ordered a new copy of this heart of Gur box set it was certainly a bit more pricey than the previous editions that we've seen. And so, yeah, I'd be good to find out just how many have ordered it. And if you haven't already, then check out Firestorm Games. And then from Firestorm Games, you can save up to 20% on all your hobby products. And I've also got a little bonus that you can save a bit more with too. If you order from them before the 31st of August, you'll also save an additional 5% on the usual up to 20%. So some big savings to be made there. And you'll also support the channel as I get a small commission from every sale made through that link. Hope you enjoyed the video and come back tomorrow where I'll be going through the Alliance of Death rules as they're published. So it looks like they're leaving chaos till the end. That's going to be another big one. But tomorrow will be quite short, much like this one, just the one PDF, I imagine. So if you like the video, please hit the like button, subscribe for more videos like this. And don't forget to hit that notification bell too to join me next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'd like to say a huge thank you to my Patreon supporters who make these daily videos possible. And if you're interested in joining the community, it'd be awesome to see you there. And I'll put a link for that in the description down below. <laughs>